In this video, I am going to implement the bag of word model. In the last video, we have seen that the concept behind the bag of word model. So first, uh, this is Google Colab model that I have opened. And uh, if you don't know how to work on the Google Colab, you can refer to my previous videos. So here, first of all, I just want to give it title of, of this notebook, which is bag of words, because I'm implementing the bag of words. So it's easy to uh, create a title of uh, like this, because it's, you don't need to save it and anything else. It's automatically saved. So now, uh, as I told you in theory class, so I have a document which is known as D1 and here I want to create a because bag of word model in which I have to create a uh, count vectorizer and uh, so first of all I have to initialize a sentence right so a document which is d1 and which is you are good so it it has three words three unique words so i will expand it later in this video but initially i have one document and then from sklearn okay which is a library and from sklearn you have to import the count vectorizer because as we know that in bag of word model it counts the unique word okay so sklearn dot feature extraction because we know that the uh, uh, feature extraction we uh, bag of word model is to just extract the features from the text document so feature extraction dot text okay so this is how you will write the code and import count import count vectorizer so it's automatically uh, predicting this so now so now run it okay so it's successfully done and then it's uh, successfully done now if you don't know how to add a cell you can add cell from here and from uh, right from here so now okay so i have the document now and this is the count vectorizer function that i have imported from this uh, sklearn.feature.extraction.text library so what you have to do you have to create an instance so let me create an instance like cv it's like creating an object of count vectorizer so i will call the count vectorizer and so now run it so you will see that we have created an object an instance of this count vectorizer and then i have to fit this the, the instance of cv to this uh, my document so just fit it cv dot fit call fit cv dot fit and then d1 which is my document so you can also read that uh, what it does it, it's learn a vocab dictionary of all tokens in the raw documents okay so what it will uh, what it will do it will create a dictionary of the unique words or it will create a vocabulary of the unique words so now you can see here we have uh, fitted our instance of count vectorizer to this document d1 and then i want to print the vocabulary of uh, my only because i have only one sentence so so I have, it will print the vocabulary so to print the vocab we uh, need to uh, so we need to we need to type cv here okay and then 
vocabulary okay so it has this uh, function with it so vocabulary and then print it so you will find that here we have this it has been created that it has assigned good a u to 2 and r to 0 and good to 1 because we have only three words you are good so in that way it has created a vocabulary or dictionary in which the, the u has assigned two index r is at the stored at zero index and good is at one index now for the next step we can uh, because we want to convert into vector as i told you because each sentence has its own vector of the of the size of the unique words okay so now how to create the vector and how to get the vector so to get the vector i am creating instance of like vector and to see a variable of uh, vector is a variable with uh, which will store the, the the output of after vectorizing this right so we, how can we do that we have to call the transform function which is here cv dot transform and on the document so we have to talk, so we have to convert or we have to transform our document into vector form so now you can read also this uh, definition of uh, transform function that how what it does transform documents to document numbers so it takes so transform is a function and which we takes the raw document as an input and transform the this raw documents to document matrix so document matrix is nothing else but the the row represent the terms and the uh, sorry the column represent the terms and the row represent the documents so in in my previous video uh, I have told you and I have explained in, in a very clear way that what is uh, what the vectors look like in a bag of word model. So the term are the columns and the documents are the rows. So if a term appears in a document it counts how many times it uh, occurs otherwise it uh, that is zero. So like extract token counts of total text document using a vocabulary fitted with the fit or the one provided to the constructor so it's uh, self explanatory so now we have to convert the our document cv dot transform dot d1 so now we have this vector right so we have created the vectors of the document now we want to print the vector okay print the vector so here you can uh, print the vector and you will see that the output is like that uh, okay, so it's like uh, 0, 1, 2, which is occurring one time, which is occurring one time, and which is again occurring uh, one time, right? So, if you want to uh, see the output in a, a in a vector form and much clearly, for that, for that, uh, uh, you have to convert this vector into a array. So let print vector dot two array, okay, two array. Then two array you can also read the what it does, and uh, this is uh, actually. Uh, and now, uh, if you want to print it, so it will uh, like okay. here you have to because it's a function now. It's a function, so you have to put the brackets here so now when you print it you will find it's like that so you are good is u is occurring one time r is occurring one time so that's why the vector is one 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 so i hope it helps you to understand the bag of word and you can implement it uh, using the uh, count vectorizer which is uh, which you can import from the sklearn so thanks for watching, thank you very much.